नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भारद्वाज आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन फॉर टुडे टुडे इज ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ अगस्त नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द पास्ट वन वीक वेदर सो देर वर टू सिग्निफिकेंट सिस्टम सो टू लो प्रेशर एरिया वर फॉर्म ड्यूरिंग लास्ट वीक so one of the low pressure area which formed uh, uh, during 13 to 17th of august this was the f- uh, first low pressure area of the month which was formed over west central and adjoining northwest bay of bengal of north andhra pradesh and south odisha coast on 13th of august the system gradually moved uh, over to the west northwest ward and lay over vidarbha and neighborhood on 17th of august and become less mark on 18th of august so this was first low pressure area if we talk about the second low pressure area which was formed during the period of 17 to 20th of august and uh, intensified into a depression uh, between 18 to 19th of august this system was formed over west central and adjoining northwest bay of bengal of north andhra pradesh and south odisha coast on 18th now due to these system uh, the west coast of india mainly konkan region including mumbai and many parts of Uh, south gujarat received extremely heavy rainfall spell during 15 to 20th of august and uh, the extremely heavy rainfall spell and urban fl- flooding over mumbai region between 20, uh, 15 to 20th of august was also been observed uh, which received continuously three days as you can see in the uh, bar plot where we have shown the santa cruz and kolaba region you can see that uh, last uh, two to three days uh, continuously extremely heavy rainfall uh, warning as shown in the bar plots has been observed and if you see past few days uh, average 875.1 mm rainfall amount has been observed over kolaba region and you can see in uh, above panel you can see the the depression which was formed over uh, inten- low pressure area which was int- intensified into a depression over west and uh, uh, northwest bay uh, joining uh, west central bay of bengal and then it moved nearly west northwest ward and uh, crossed the odisha coast and uh, become a well marked low pressure area over south chhattisgarh region and uh, due to that system uh, it intensify the low level jet uh, uh, low level winds uh, uh, and uh, uh, most of the moisture incursion uh, near the coastal karnataka and uh, konkan and goa regions which cause these heavy rainfall extremely heavy rainfall amount and if we talk about some of the exceptionally heavy rainfall amount which over the maharashtra region so uh, tamni uh, one of the station received 57 cm of rainfall amount which is also been sh- shown here in the right panel now if we talk about the other system other than these two low pressure system there was also a shear zone was present over the indian region at 19 degree latitudes uh, on 18th there was also a, a feeble uh, western disturbance which was also present uh, uh, and there was also an offshore trough which was present from uh, initial w- one of the offshore trough from gujarat to north kerala coast on 19th and the another one from Go- gujarat to maharashtra coast on 20th of august now if we talk about the last week uh, rainfall uh, uh, as a sum uh, cumulative rainfall amount as you, you can see in this uh, picture where the Uh, rainfall amount from access to large access uh, was been observed over uh, saurashtra kutch and the southern plains of india except uh, tamil nadu where the deficient rainfall amount has been there and over if we talk about the Ut- uh, uttarakhand punjab and himachal pradesh and jammu and kashmir even uh, uh, andaman nicobar island there we received the access to large excess amount of the rainfall and where you can see the red color which is a uh, deficient to large deficient rainfall amount is also been observed over Uh, many parts of rajasthan uttar pradesh bihar jharkhand ganges of west bengal assam and meghalaya regions now if we talk about the uh, uh, seasonal summer rainfall amount you can see that country as a whole received uh, the normal rainfall amount uh, during the season has been listed here so if we talk about the country as a whole it received a normal amount and country as a uh, over the last week it has excess rainfall amount of 22% now if we talk about next two week forecast so uh, the week one uh, forecast between 21st to 27th of august so rainfall activity is likely to be above normal over gujarat state northwest of india and there will be a further reduction of the rainfall likely over konkan and goa and madhya maharashtra and peninsular india and there is also a possibility of fresh uh, uh, low pressure area is likely to form over northwest bay of bengal and adjoining areas of north to east and gangetic west bengal around 25th of august and with a uh, with that there will be a fresh spell of rainfall activity likely over eastern india uh, and uh, some part of the central india you can see uh, and adjoining areas from 24th of august for the week 
Now if we talk about the forecast for the week 2, so overall we can say that overall rainfall activity is likely to be above normal over most part of the northwest and central and uh, normal to above normal over many parts of the east, northeast and below normal over many parts of the southern peninsula of India during week 2. Now uh, if we talk about uh, cyclogenesis probability, so uh, as you can see during the week 1, uh, there is a likely of formation of the low pressure area over northwest way of Bengal off Odisha and West Bengal coast around 25th of August uh, and there is also a low probability has been marked there uh, of its intensification into a depression over north Odisha and adjoining northwest Bay of Bengal and Gangetic Bay of Bengal around 27th of August. The system is likely to move west northwestward across north Odisha and adjoining Jharkhand and north Chhattisgarh and east Madhya Pradesh during subsequent two days. So this is what uh, has been given here and for the week two as you can see that there is a likely uh, formation of a cyclonic circulation over north uh, northwest Bay of Bengal off Odisha West Bengal coast during week two. So that's all for today. Uh, you can actually get the detailed information from the IMD website and you can follow us on social media platform to get the updated information. That's all for today. Namaskar. Dhaniwad.